We've got tips and recipes for healthy living So for fun and inspiration come and join us in the raw food world Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is part two of the tour of our land on where we hold our retreats and if you missed part one you can check out the video right here so let's continue on check out the facilities and have a good old time let's go you guys this is kind of like the center of the land here there's many things that way this way this way this way and we're going to show you everything now what i love about this place is just the fresh air it just feels so good it's just amazing when i look back there we've just got this huge mountain with this bamboo forest here it's just absolutely beautiful it's like being in the mountains pristine life pristine area unbelievable so what we're going to do first is we're going to head our way this way and this is what we call Cherry's house because one of our horses was born here and the placenta got buried right over here. And then also what we're gonna do is come around this way. We call this one the bamboo house. We'll do that next. And then if we look right over here, we're gonna go check out this. This is just like this huge garden. It's the second biggest garden here. Mike Adams actually created that one. And that's, that way is Mike Adams. There's Mike Adams old houses over there. We call that one Mike's house. We've got another mountain house over there. We've got the, what we call the guest house, which is actually four condo rooms in one in so, one sort of aspect. And uh, let's hit it up, shall we? Let's go. So right next to you, we've got Cherry's house. And this is pretty much the yard for this house. And if you take a look over here, there's about 20 fig trees in this yard in total. And look at the size of these things. They're literally like three years old and they've grown this much already. And the fig trees on our land are even like two times the size of this, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then there's more fig trees over here. And the canal actually comes running through this area that we saw at the very beginning of this tour. And we've got fig trees planted all across it. The person, people staying in here get that that running water sound which is just unbelievable and then also we have um, some jicama plants growing all along here and the jicama out here is so much better than the ones in the states the ones in the states are like dry and they're like orange light lightest orange here they're like they look really dark and rich and they're like sweet it's just like something you've never experienced before you wouldn't even believe that it's a jicama let's take a deeper look let's go inside jerry's house and see what that's all about come with me and this is cherry's house and you've got an entire kitchen here with an awesome island to do all sorts of preparation if you wish um, awesome couches. Antel is in the process of getting wall hangings for all the houses. And uh, let's check out the rest of the house. Let's go right through this first bedroom that's absolutely huge with a gorgeous bathroom and jacuzzi bathtub. And over here, we have the master bedroom of Cherry's house. Now, of course, we're not gonna have crazy amounts of covers and sheets all over the place. Everything will be well put in place right before the retreat. And what I love about this room the most out of everything is we have the canal running right here, right by the bedroom windows. And you get that sound of the running water. It's awesome. So uh, let's go check out the bathroom right here. Now keep in mind, we have this exact house in three different areas. We just duplicated three of this house. So every one of these houses has this exact same bathroom. Let's go check it out. And right here, ladies, this is just the ultimate jacuzzi experience that you can possibly imagine. Just get some candles, turn on the jets, 
hit that other button, the water comes out of the jacuzzi bathtub into the pipes through the heater and comes right back in through the jets. So you just reheat the water over and over again and you can make it as hot as you wish. And then of course we've got luxury shower, sink, toilet, and all you can imagine. Here's another spacious bathroom and you can hear the canal water just going across in this bathroom and in this room. Let's continue on. And just so you guys can get a better understanding of the land, earlier in the other tour video, part one, we came across here and that's where the greenhouse is. And then we came across this path where I was telling everybody we don't want any frolicking and people, you know, no, yeah, all the way through here and then around. And now we're gonna make our way towards that way. And for those of you who are new to our newsletter list and just got this, what we do is we have retreats here, raw food retreats on our land. And um, this, we're, this is pretty much the tour of the facility. So let's continue on over to the bamboo house right over here. You can actually see it from here. And over here is the bamboo house. Right behind you is Cherry's house. And the bamboo house is an exact duplicate of Cherry's house. So we're not gonna really necessarily go inside and show you the same exact thing again. And the reason why it's called the bamboo house is because there's a bamboo little forest right over there. And we're at one of the entrances and we're gonna go through the other side to the other entrance and see you over there. We'll just go right past this bamboo house. Come on. All right, everybody, so now we are on Mike's portion of the land and behind you is kind of like a long driveway that goes to the very front entrance of the gate. And we'll show you this later. I don't even know where to take you next, but if you continue down here to the left is Mike's house where he used to live, Mike Adams. And we're gonna go to the right first. And this is where the huge, beautiful, biodynamic organic garden lies. And then instead of taking you to Mike's house, we're gonna go to the bamboo forest, the yoga pavilion, the other guest house, up into the mountain house. And at the end, we're gonna come all the way back around to way over there where Mike's house is. So uh, let's continue the tour and make our way to this amazing, ridiculously amazing garden. Come on. And right here, guys, this is the well that goes 30 meters into the ground and gets fresh water and it pumps all the way up to the mountain and then feeds some of the houses down here and of course it's put through a filtration system and stuff like that so uh, we've got pristine water over here and right behind you is the garden and right here is the canal that Mike kind of made big into a fish pond so it comes into this fish pond and then continues on the canal that way so let's continue on. And this is another one of our biodynamic organic gardens that is going to feed all the retreat members. We've got incredible looking lettuce over here for unlimited salads, more lettuce over here. We've got unlimited amounts of other veggies for juicing. We're making Norwalk juices every single day for everybody. We've got chard for juicing, cucumbers, alfalfa. We've got cabbage over here where we're gonna be making sauerkraut that you could have unlimited amounts. We've got kale for kale salads. We've got herbs. We've got all that you can possibly imagine, kale salads right in this garden. We have enough food in this garden and the other garden to feed an entire army for this retreat. 
and this is exactly what we've been gearing up for. Let's continue on that way. It literally feels like I just walked on to a feature set of the Lord of the Rings. Here is one of the most beautiful, peaceful, wild areas on our entire land. And what you see behind me is the yoga pavilion nestled right in the midst of this huge bamboo forest that just goes that way and that way and that way and that way. It's just unreal here, the serenity, the peace, the sound. And the yoga pavilion here, whenever we're having retreats, the retreat over books and over sales. So we're actually using the yoga pavilion as another space for people to actually stay. And if it were me, this is probably the number one space that I would choose to stay because not only are you nestled in this bamboo forest, but also if you look at the yoga pavilion, which we're gonna check out in just a moment after we go that way to the guest house, it's just pure fresh air. It's just screen and you just breathe in pristine air all night long. It's one of the most beneficial things that a human can experience. And then also, if you go right over there, there's a nice little house over there, really small, has two bathrooms and an outdoor shower that's covered up so nobody can see. And when you just like shower outside and it doesn't get cold here, it just, the fumes, it doesn't get locked into this one box of a shower. It just goes up into the air. So you're just breathing fresh air, even though there's no chlorine in this water. Normally we're just like sitting in this steam filled shower and we're breathing chlorine. This is just one of the ultimate experiences that anybody can possibly have. So we're going to go that way and then up into the mountain house in a little bit. But first we're going to head this way, which is directed towards our house, my house. And then the guest house is right here. Behind you is the garden we just experienced. And if we continue that way, we're right back at the other houses. So let's just make our way over here and we'll check it out. And right here is another hidden entrance to our private headquarters. And what you see over here is this area we've created for the horses. So the horses that come over here and this is where they feed. We give them carrots and apples and other stuff like that. And we actually get to see them in our own home over here and, you know, communicate with them and stuff like that and pet them and massage them and all sorts of fun things. And then over here, this is in the first video, you saw the other side of our property of our private headquarters over there looking this way. Now we're right over here where we have our orchard of, a hundred fig trees. These ones that you see behind me right now are just only a year old and that's how big they are. These ones over here are about three years old and they go way up there. <laughs> so if you just make your way over there, check that out. They're just ridiculous, these fig trees. And as you make your way back, if you look over there, you can see our house over there. So what we're going to do now is come back out of here and go right into the guest house, which is right behind you. Let's go check it out. And this is the 5,000 square foot frat house nestled right next to the side of the bamboo forest. Let's go check it out. So this is one of the other main gathering areas. Dinners will be held right here. And there's this pathway starting right behind this adobe. This is an ado a totally adobe house. You go this way in a to total circle and end up right back here. And there's one huge bedroom, another bedroom, another bedroom, another bedroom in this ridiculously huge kitchen, which you're about to see in a second. This is where dinners will be prepared. We'll probably have a dance party or two in this dance floor area right in front of you. And uh, let's explore this area. Let's hit the kitchen first, come on. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Have you guys ever seen Beauty and the Beast? 
You know that one scene where there's like a VR guest, VR guest, and then there's like all these, like the Vitamix comes alive and starts cleaning all the dishes and all this other thing. They're like throwing things all over the place. That's what happens when this is, what, it's like a little secret thing that nobody knows about, but all these things are alive. And once everybody goes to sleep, everything's taken care of. So, be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. And now we're gonna make our way through all the bedrooms of the house. We're gonna just go right here. Here's the first bedroom, and then the second, then the third, then the fourth. The first two bedrooms are smaller, and then the next two are gigantic with jacuzzi bathtubs. Come join me. And this is one of the larger rooms in this 5,000 square foot adobe house. And right over here is the bathroom with another jacuzzi bathtub. Let's go check it out. And here is another two person jacuzzi bathtub. I gotta tell Angela, we gotta have candles next to all the bathtubs for people to use. And then right over here is a ridiculously huge shower. I don't know why we made it this big, but you could probably fit a mass of people in there. It's very spacious, that's a good thing. <laughs> Let's go on. <laughs> and this is the yoga pavilion. We just came from the guest house right over here, <clears throat> the other way right here. And this place would be my number one choice to stay in the bamboo forest in the fresh air. It's like a Zen temple situated right in the bamboo forest. Let's go check it out. And now we are situated right here in the midst of the bamboo forest right inside the yoga pavilion. This is the key choice place that I would choose to stay because the windows don't have glass and it's all screen all 360 degrees around. And when you look up, there's more screen without windows, just fresh, fresh air. And right here is some sort of crazy spiritual mirror gateway to another spiritual dimension. And it's kind, it could get kind of freaky at some points, but I don't know, maybe this isn't, isn't for everybody. We definitely have to put the girls in here. This is, this is where we're gonna put the shared room for the girls, right here. But right now, we're going up that way, straight to the mountain house, incredible views. Let's go check it out. And this is the mountain house with incredible views. We're off the ground on stilts here, and it's just absolutely beautiful. There's a nice couch in here, it's got the island, and it's just like the other two circular houses that I showed you by Cherry's house. So there's no need to go into every single room with the jacuzzi bathtub and stuff like that. Just enjoy this incredible view. You just, you gotta love it. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our way up the mountain so we can actually get, it's like a little hiking trail to where you can actually see our entire plot of land almost. And we'll get a shot up there. If you go through this, there's another door outside, you can go up that way or we're just gonna come back out this way. So let's go check it out. Okay, so the mountain house is right over here. We just walked around up here and now we're taking the hiking trail all the way to the top to where we can get an incredible view. Let's check it out. All right, 
This is the best view of our land in the mountain. And here's one end of our property. If you look at the very end, you see, the, you see a concrete wall. That wall is our next door neighbors. And as you make our way here, there's the bamboo house. And you can see the yoga pavilion to the very right. And that area that is all bamboo for us right around the yoga pavilion. And if we continue to make our way, when you see, there's Mike's garden, and then you see the green tarp. This is the entrance to our private headquarters. You can see where our horses eat. There's Cherry's house. And there's the big greenhouse. There's our private headquarters. There's our home with our front gate. There's the basketball court, and on the roof you'll see solar panel heating for the pool right over there. And as we continue, you can see the swimming pool, the water slides. And there's the conference center, it's the big conference center, and you can actually see the trampoline, steam room, and if you look closely enough, you'll see Antonio, Marley, his wife, and Marina preparing for the retreat. And as you continue past the conference center, you can see the biodynamic garden, but it kind of cuts off here because of the mountain. But that house with a nice view is right around the corner and it keeps going on quite a bit. So, okay, so let's make our way back down to the other side of the land where we haven't been yet. Come join me. All right, we're back at the yoga pavilion and now we're gonna make our way by the bamboo forest. We're gonna make our way behind Mike's house and there's actually the outdoor bathrooms that you can shower in outside and there's indoor toilets actually. So let's go check it out. Okay, right here to the, your right back is Mike Adams' house. We call it Mike's house. And what we're gonna do now is make our way up to this land. There's steps with a sight view right up there. And it looks over this piece of land where the horses gallop, play, and have fun all day long and eat. Let's go check it out. And here are the stairs to the viewpoint of this area I'm about to show you shortly. The canal continues right here. This started all the way on the other side of the land in part one of this video. And it comes here and it ends out to our neighbors right here. It's quite fascinating. Let's go check out this viewpoint. Okay guys, here we are. We're almost done with the entire tour. We're at the lookout point of this entire plot of land right here. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna make my way down there to Mike's house and we could wrap it up over there. Check out this incredible view. Okay, right here is Mike's house. And this is a homey little place. It is so awesome. There's a little porch right here to hang out to look at this amazing view. We have like an outdoor kitchen right here. It's just pure screen. There's an island in the middle. There's plenty of counter space. Let's go check it out. And this is Mike's house. I know it kind of looks like a tornado hit it. We just had some awesome kids staying here and they just took off today. Um, this is actually a really cozy house. It's gonna be for two couples. It's got king size beds and king size bedrooms. Um, and it's got an awesome kitchen with an awesome view. Let's go take a look at it. One of the best kitchens in the world here. Lots of counter space, pure fresh air, only screen, and you can actually hear the canal passing by here too. It's just beautiful. There's a bridge into the bamboo forest made out of bamboo right over the canal. And this is one of the last scenes in all the houses. And we're gonna make our way. We started all the way at the front gate of Jan's house. We made it all around blah, 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 to here. And now we're gonna make it all the way to the front gate of Mike's house, which is just straight that way. And you get to see this maze Alice in Wonderland garden that he created. It's more uh, ornamental versus food, but there are fig trees and other foods in there. So uh, let's go hit that up. Okay, so right now we are in the center of the ornamental garden. There's banana trees all throughout here. We've got fig trees and berry bushes, ridiculous amounts of berry bushes. And as you make your way through here, you go like this and like this and like this. It's just a maze through all of this organic food and ornamental, beautiful plants and things like this. Let's make our way through, come on.
Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. These roses actually are perfect for that. For those of you who have seen Beauty and the Beast, the rose is a very big symbolic thing there. And every day I used to take Araya on a walk in a sling and we used to come to this fence and she would just want to touch everything. That's all she cared about. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then she would touch, 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 mm -mm. touch, 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 touch. Yeah. So this is the conclusion of the tour of our land where we have the retreat. We started way down there, went into that property, and now we're coming all the way back here and coming out here. So thank you for joining me on this tour. Hopefully you'll come join us on a retreat every June, every December during the solstice is when we do this. And so there you have it. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. I don't have any dishes to throw around, but oh well. And this is Matt Monarch, and we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. We've got cilantro, stinging nettles going in our juice, beets, alfalfa, fresh strawberries, unlimited. Then we come over here. We've got these raspberry, they look wild. They're like wild raspberries or something but they're all over the land here. It's unbelievable. I'm just gonna pick